Well, it is my third day ever on Lake of the Ozarks. You can see behind me, it is quite foggy out here today. I usually don't do too well in the fog. Traditionally, I've never really caught them in the fog. Uh, don't know why really. Seems like they should put them shallow, but it just never seems to make them bite correctly. So let's get out here. I'm gonna switch it up today. Instead of throwing more jigs and crankbaits and stuff like that, today I'm gonna throw A-rigs, jerk baits, stuff that really, really looks like a shad because there's tons of shad up. So let's get out here, throw this jerk bait around, throw this A-rig around and catch us some four pounders. At least find out where they are anyways. Something very, very big. Shallow, but he ain't a keeper. How about that one? You got me hung on a trot line or something, but little. one on the A-Rig, but he's just real small. So I didn't get it on video, but I just caught a fat spot. Look at that thing. That's like a three pounder, close to it. Two and three quarters probably. Fat, fat, fat spot. swam through like a two and a half pounder or so something like that swam through the hole in the log how about that
is not the kind. That is also not the kind. This is the way I feel like I should catch big ones. I'm gonna catch a little bitty ones. Like not even any keepers. I have caught five or six on this thing in the past 30 minutes and literally no keepers. Man, I was hoping that'd be a big one. Lake of the Ozarks, frogfish. How about that? That's a fun way to catch them. That is a fat one, but he's only like six inches, eight inches long. Well, it's Wednesday now. It's the day before the meeting for the Costa on, or it's, yeah, no, it's the day of the meeting, the day before day one of the Costa on Lake of those Ozarks. So just put in today at this old abandoned marina. Don't even know if I'm allowed to put in there, but I did and I wrote a note, so hopefully I don't get towed, but anyways, last practice day on lake of those arcs and tomorrow we got to go catch them i am a little bit um worried that i don't have any fish deep enough all the fish i have found are in eight foot or less so we really need to find some in 15 to 20 i believe let's go get it done well we're idling out of a little creek now today's not going well i went back to my best area that i caught them really good in the first day and nothing like nothing nothing so I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow, but we got to get out there on the main river, see if there's some current, and see if we can find something. So, let's get out there on the big water, catch us a couple. So, that's not a keeper, but main lake, well, kind of main creek, seawall. I'm going to run a really big creek right now, the Niangua or something like that, and it's on the main channel of the dad. It's not in a pocket or nothing. I don't think y'all can see that. Y'all might could have heard it though, but I just had a 14 or 15 inch or take my horny toad off my buzz bait. So let's go find something a little better. sucker that's about all I'm catching everywhere
what I was doing right there. They were something very, very big with this one. Like, very big. So I was trying to see what it was. I don't know for sure. It could have been a walleye. It was like a six or seven pound something though. Little keeper spot. minutes since the last fish and they're sitting actually exactly where I thought they were sitting after the first day I was worried about if they're gonna hold up or not but it looks like there's still some here now largemouth don't seem to be playing but two largemouth bites and three of those will be all right so this is what we do and it looks like are up here on these points anyways every single one I've hit I've got a, a bite off of but they're just not all keepers I accidentally dropped my rod actually giving out some good stuff at the meetings now that's the best look at that I've seen all year any of these meetings and I use I've only gotten one other hat all year at the meetings because I don't like them but anyways I do appreciate the guys coming out and giving them out anyways they're just not my style but that's the last day of practice on Lake of those arcs basically the water that I was fishing where I was catching me in the first couple days it like turned over which is a little bit early for it to be turning over usually the water temp turns over when it's in the 50s now the water temp is like in the 70s and it turned over. I think maybe it's in the 60s it normally turns over. Either way, it's not normally in the 70s as far as I know, but it does seem to have turned over and it killed where I was fishing. So sometimes it's only one day or two days in order to get back right, but I'm not gonna risk it. It's about 30 minute drive, probably about 25 minute drive. And to get over there, not even gonna risk it tomorrow. We're running all new water. I'm up for the challenge. We're gonna start in a couple places where I think I can get a bite. Then we're going running around like a chicken with our head cut off. We got to come in with five over three pounds. Let's go see if we can do that. If you like that video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. The next video will be day one of Lake of the Ozarks. So be subscribed.